Welcome to another Ride Along with Goggles. And uh, <clears throat> this is uh, <laughs> Ride Along with Goggles birthday edition because, yeah, today is my birthday. The big day, but uh, as I had mentioned earlier in an earlier video, the big thing today was my eldest daughter graduating from uh, university. And uh, it was awesome. It was a great, great deal. So I'm over the moon. And I uh, uh, don't want to take too long about it here. So let's, um, we've got a 250 mile trip here, so it's not a long one. Going from Yakima uh, or Yakima, I'm not sure how to pronounce that, uh, down to John Day. And John Day, of course, being on the Voith uh, Oregon expansion map. And we're not going to do a whole lot on that uh, actual expansion map, but we're going to head down to John Day from the north. And uh, that's the default SCS road, and it's a pretty, pretty darn nice road to scenic as all get out. And uh, yeah, good, good little adventure. So um, we've got the CLT 9000 from Rush Hour 109, got a 3406 in it, and the 18 speed Ratro Developments 24.5s, which is the first time I've had the, those on this truck. And obviously this truck is now updated for 144 and working great. So yeah, uh, the KSW uh, tanker trailer and not one, not two, but three trailers. So <laughs> should be a lot of fun. And uh, this this little trailer combo here just handles great. So uh, let's uh, hop in the old truck and get going. nice the weather cleared up. I drove down here from Winnemucca and it was ugly. Like uh, fog and uh, rain, thunder, lightning, poor visibility, the whole nine yards. But here we are. We've got uh, 71,000 pounds of water on. <laughs> water. We drove through a lot of it to get here to pick it up. But um, yeah, it kind of makes me wish I had a stopped and taken the placards off the trailer, but it'll be all right. We'll roll with it. After 100 yards, turn right. Turn right. Where were the, uh, I got the steering wheel right in the way of the signal indicators? I don't see them on the dash anywhere. I saw the steering wheel in the way of them. Huh. Looks like a nice day brewing here. Yeah, pretty happy to be back in this truck. I guess he updated it uh, on the 24th, I think it is. And as of recording, this is the 26th. And I got it all sorted out yesterday, but I didn't get a chance to do anything with it. But uh, yeah, like I say, happy to be back in it. Yeah, unfortunately the tachometer is not accurate in this truck. That's too bad. It's 
be right now it's about 300 and 325 too high. Ah, uh, 300. It's kind of a drag, so. This road, um, so we're going to go, let's see, that was Yakima, so we're going to go, let's see, what is it, um, uh, Wenatchee, Pendleton, so we, we'll go through Wenatchee here, or past it, and we'll dip through Pendleton, take a little wee stretch on that uh, turnpike, oh man, get called in. Hundred ninety five thousand. Wow. It's a lot of trailer. Uh, it's a lot of good chunk of that weight, I guess, because the load's only seventy one thousand. that explain why uh, even with my uh, lower tier uh, heavy haul engine we're, we're no rocket right now so in this profile I've got um, a bunch of map mods in it uh, not all extreme amount I got pro mods Canada uh, Great America. That's Voith's Great America. I got his three expansions uh, Washington, Oregon, and Utah. And I got uh, the Recon Lobster to his uh, Montana. And I got north to Alaska. So no, no reforma in here. And I don't have the uh, Hawaii. But this is a new profile, so uh, we're just getting going on it. Haven't uh, really been anywhere in it. combo again. Looking at that old familiar steering wheel. I don't know if you guys caught it on previous videos, but my last Ford Louisville, I factory ordered it. And uh, uh, brand new. So that kind of dates me. <laughs> They, they uh, quit making them. Uh, it's Ford sold their truck division to Sterling a few years after. Not exactly sure when that happened, but I ordered mine in '94, and it came to me as a uh, in '95. No, wait a minute. I ordered it in '94 as a '95, and I got it in the uh, uh, I guess early fall of uh, 94. Oh boy. Those poor guys just can't figure it out. But anyway, yeah, it was a, that was a great truck. It really was. I 
mean, you know, low, low budget, but uh, I was just starting out. But anyway, this is, video is not about that. It's about this trip, this truck. Yeah, like I say, it's the first time I got the Raptor Developments wheels on uh, this combination. Looks pretty sharp. Oh, I don't have my lights on. What am I doing? I try to always drive with my lights on. Oh, we're going to have to turn off up here, I think. Turn open. John Day, yeah. So this is all default, like this road down to John Day, and you, th those of you that have been on it, you'll recognize it. Right. After 50 yards, exit right ahead. Exit right ahead. Keep right. After 50 yards, turn right. like the no barriers thing is working. I think I have it in this profile, I'm pretty sure. That's 1800 right there. I'm shifting. Not what you're seeing on the tack and the dash. I think the Marmon that these guys do is right. And I just got the update for the Marmon too, so I can look forward to a trip in that soon. I guess 197,000 pounds. I guess I can see why. Be interesting to see how much fuel we use here. Because uh, trips between like 250 and 325, we've been using about 37, 38 to 45 gallons. It'll be interesting to see what we do in this one. Got her foot on it pretty hard. Now, I don't know where the fuel mileage figure comes from. I should try and look at an engine file. See if it's in the engine files. I think I got a very nasty corner here. shifting down. Well, that's weird. We're stuck in 16th gear. I 
until I pulled the stick out. Did that the other night too. Um, I thought I'd done something wrong, but I guess I didn't. And how do you do? What do we got behind us? Dump truck. <sighs> All right, that's got to about do it. Come on, guys, let's go. Burning daylight here. <laughs> Here the guy behind moved too. There we go. a nice little stretch here once we get across this bridge. The forest here is kind of nice. You gotta look at it from in the cab. down a gear and on the split there it goes back up. Split just fine there. I've got this connection here and my shifters get loose. Just check that. Maybe it was that uh, connection I have here. <clears throat> like this shifter is wired into my uh, one of the Arduino boards. Like right behind this panel, I've got how many here? I got two Arduino boards here, and I got another one over here somewhere, right behind here. But instead of wiring it directly in, I put a like a DB9 connector. Uh, I need six connections so db9 connector was kind of a good way to go and I had some lying around and because um, there's two wires for each function the uh, range the splitter and two for the jig so it could have been this little connection was just coming loose the two db9s they're kind of just like an interference you know just a tight fit there is a could put screws in to sort of clamp them together, but I don't have screws there.
Now we're not real far from John J. Now I don't think. John Day, rather. What do I keep saying John J? What the heck is John J? <laughs> Forest Street. Whoa! Whoa! Yikes. I was close. Man. I almost pooped a kitten there. Wow. Okay, here's John Day. So when we... Yards, turn left. So that first trip we took from that new logging site to the east, we went straight across the end of this road. Turn left. And the last trip... turned uh, south up here that there's a traffic light up here we headed towards Burns it looks like we're going to carry on right through town here where are we going anyway rustic oh we're going out to that uh, cool we'll go in the opposite direction of that road we've been on a couple times the new road So without this map, this would be a barricade up here, beyond this this traffic light. You wouldn't be able to go straight here. You have to go. The game by default will go to the right. Go straight. Uh, and that's the way to Burns. And uh, like I say, we were just down there the other day. Next time I use this uh, combo, I'll uh, probably try and do a load in, in Canada. See how the company is an Alberta company. Although we don't have Alberta, but we'll pretend we're cheating and got one in BC. I trucked in Alberta, but I mean, I went into BC lots and. Uh, Saskatchewan. Uh, and we used to call BC bring cash because they would charge you, you, you know, you couldn't get around the scales and they would charge you for the fuel you weren't going to buy there because you, you fill up before you go, obviously, and you're doing kind of, you know, I was doing hot shots. So you get to the job site, you don't dawdle, you don't pull around, you don't go to truck stops, you just get there, turn around, get back home. And trying to get another job and um, they would tax you for the capacity of your fuel tank the fuel tax on what it costs in BC because they knew we were coming in not buying fuel getting out and so you'd have to take your checkbook out write the BC government a check after 100 yards turn left yeah it was kind of annoying Saskatchewan didn't do that, but I gotta admit, I never. Oh, I should. Turn I wonder if I should admit that. <laughs> I never once went across the scale in Saskatchewan. I would always. Uh, it's flat. I think you can go around them. <laughs> oh boy, there's an admission. BC, they're all on. Mountain Valley roads, there's no way you'd have to travel a ridiculous distance out of your way to get around the scale. So you just didn't bother. Wow, come on, baby, you can do it. Little light on traction going up here. Try not to spin the tires. There we go. Now, which side are we going to? Oh, the logging one at the end. Okay. What they're going to do with all this water? I can 
sort of see it going into the sawmill, but... Look at that scenery. Nice, nice job on the mountains. You have reached your destination. There we are. And the usual park up the side. driving out of the thingy here, not paying attention. Well, there we are. That was a nice trip. Nice drive, actually. Well worth it. Little treat to myself on my, uh, the big B day, or a truck I really wanted to drive in combo, and uh, a route I wanted to take, so yay me. <laughs> Alrighty, let's get this thing shut down. So much fuel we used. Get the brakes on, lights off. 34.7 gallons, not bad. Wow. Cool. All right. Well, there we are. Now, well, hope you enjoyed that, guys. And if you did and you haven't already, consider subscribing. And, uh, yeah, see what we can do with this thing. Take care, and we'll catch you on the next one, guys. Bye for now. Thank you.